Oh. Mark Scott reporting. Where am I? Coney Island, baby. Hey. So I was going to do a little walk around in Coney Island, but it's like 30 mile an hour wind, so I have to hide. Found a cove. Anyway, you can see the beautiful beach. So today I want to talk about the... Uh, there's three kinds of rabbit holes. I think I touched on this in the Q video. There's three types of rabbit holes and three reasons why they evolve, right? The current three in this investigator's view are the number one rabbit hole right now is is uh, Russiagate, right? And who is Russiagate for, right? Who is Russiagate full of? Russiagate is a story that evolves out of the Clinton the Clinton campaign where they steal an election from the favorite, right? And they lose. Oh, shit, they lost, right? <clears throat> so all of that discontent. Oh, damn, we lost to a TV star. Oh, fuck, Trump. We got to deal with Trump. So that's what Russiagate is. Russiagate is born out of Hillary Clinton... Uh, mainstream media letdown, discontent. Ugh, they, it's so bitter that they all they want all they want is blood. They want to see, they want to see Trump go down because Trump beat them. Right? That's what Russia Gate is. Right? Because it has nothing to do with Russia. It has to do with. It has to do with vile discontent for this president for beating their candidate. So that's what Russiagate is. So what you're seeing right now play out is Rosenstein, oh, the assistant deputy attorney general, the deputy attorney general, number two man, right? What happened to Sessions? So number one, you can't get number one, so you go for number two. But why is Rosenstein so important to the, to the loony left? Because he is in charge of the Mueller nonsense the Mueller investigation into a fake story about Russia that never happened right right see it's it the whole thing is a rabbit hole now I know we think we like to think online that we're smarter than everybody else oh look how fucking savvy we are we're, you know we're cut above we don't pay attention to mainstream media but the fact is right now the the, the people that we know and love are consumed in Russiagate they talk about Rosenstein. They talk about, you know, Comey, McCabe, you know, all of these guys that, that are, are in, instrumentally involved in some form or another in Russiagate, right? And whatever happens, what happened to any of them in terms of when the evidence on the table tells us clearly that they're all guilty, as in the case of Hillary Clinton where quid pro quo, we, we know that story. And Comey, who gave cover all the way down the ranks in the FBI. There's no, there's no prosecution. There's nothing, right? Nothing ever happened to these people. Nada. Right? So Russia Gate is for the Hillary Clinton discontent, and Q is for the Trump discontent, and that final one that I talked about, the three Russia Gate. Q and a, a fairly big one is for the Bernie Sanders people, which is party reform. Ah, we're going to reform the party. We're going to we're going to make the party better again. It's going to be a better party. See, the party that we're at right now sucks, but we're going to make it a better party. Right? We are going to transform that party into something better, something more. All three rabbit holes are born out of discontent. All of them. Right? I'm eating my hair. Sorry. <laughs> um, all of them are born out of discontent, right? There's, that's all we have. 99% of the people are trapped down one of three rabbit holes. Trump and Q. There's other forms of it because I don't think Q is as mainstream as we all think. But it's, you, you get the point. That Q represents that, that rabbit hole of... of Trump people who were let down thought Trump was the savior. He was going to fix everything, right? right? 
And then there's Russiagate, which is that Comey and Mueller. Mueller's the Jesus of the, of the loony left. Okay? He's going to solve all their problems. He is going to lock Trump up. Okay? He's going to lock Trump up before Trump locks up Hillary. Okay? And the Sanders crowd, right? all the, 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 the Dem Justice Democrats and the, and the, the Bernie Crats and all those guys, they're going to reform the party. And they're going to make, they're going to solve, everybody's going to solve the problem, right? By replacing the president somehow. It all comes down to that, right? Fucked up problem, right? It's a thick, it's, it's a big problem. <laughs> Nothing but rabbit holes. Where's the truth? So you could be anywhere right now. You could be standing on the steps of, in D.C. And you could be watching... You know, Rosenstein get dragged down the steps by Trump by his hair. Get fired. Ah. Or you could be in your mother's basement. Or you could be on a beach in Coney Island in a, in a, in a beautiful fall, you know, fall weather. 65, nice. A little windy for what I'm doing. You know, windy for the, for the podcast, but, but, uh, but, but beautiful to walk on the beach. I can't do it because all you hear is, <laughs> so I'm going to spare you that. But um, so so the, the rabbit hole when you, you're seeing Rosenstein today either quit or was fired. The mainstream media spinning it. Oh, he's he's he he's gonna resign before Trump fires him. And at the end of the day, nothing will come of any of it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you know because yeah yeah it's a swamp and they're gonna drain that swamp. But there's just another swamp creature waiting to take over. Okay? Because it's not about the swamp. It's about 535, Congress, Senate. We're consumed with presidency. Singular election. One guy is going to fix it all, right? Or well, one woman. But the reality is, our answers lie in House and Senate. If you can, if you can, switch out all of House and Senate, we have a chance. Because the rabbit hole of of Russia Gate, it'll fade, and then they'll find another enemy. Right? I mean, only two years ago was ISIS. Remember ISIS? ISIS, ISIS in Syria. ISIS was everywhere. Right? What happened to ISIS? They've gone. You don't even hear it in the news anymore. They switched the narrative to Russia. A trade, a trade competitor, right? That's all they are, a trade competitor. They're selling shit to China, China's selling shit to them. Right? Corporations are pissed off. This has nothing to do with, nothing to do with prosperity and safety at home. One in seven on food stamps. 80% of the country living paycheck to paycheck. 65% of the country doesn't have $400 to their name. Are you one of them? Are you one of them? Are you too proud to admit it? A sad reality that that go down that rabbit hole of Trump. Q. He's got all the answers. They're gonna lock her up. They're gonna fucking lock her up. Or you go down the, the 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 political reform. We're gonna we're gonna change criminals into honest honest law abiding people. Right? Well, Russiagate, bitter. They're the most bitter, I think. Because that stems, the Russiagate phenomena includes the mainstream media, people like Rachel Maddow and, and, and um, you know, what is his name? Anus Cooper. <laughs> Fucking those guys, right? They all believe in that shit. They believe in their heart of hearts to some degree that this is the way to go. Defeat Rush, Russia. Defeat Trump with a lie. Russia. It's heavy, right? They're invested. See, when we invest in something so much, oh, it's got to prove it. You got to prove it. You know, we have all commentators on in, in the internet that have been running the same story for years, two years. 
got to prove it that, that Hillary's going to go down. you got to prove it. Just keep running that fucking story. Yeah. Russiagate. One of three rabbit holes. So I've covered Q rabbit hole. Call it the Rosenstein rabbit hole for now. But that's really the Russiagate rabbit hole. You know, and the, the party reform rabbit hole. I'll try to cover that one on another, another day. Another time. My name is Marcus Conti reporting from beautiful Coney Island Beach on a very windy fall day, 2018. Peace out.